The American Diabetes Association brings you the very latest cutting edge advances in diabetes research, prevention, and care. It's the 80th Scientific Sessions, a virtual experience, and we're ADA TV. We're back for day two at the 80th ADA Scientific Sessions. We've gone virtual, but the meeting is still the place to be for all things diabetes. Whether you're a lab scientist or a patient educator, Stand by today for a trip to Belgium to find out the latest in immunotherapy technologies for type 1 diabetes. And make sure to catch our interview with eminent diabetologist and Banting Medal winner, Dr. Ellie Farinini. First though, ADA President of Medicine and Science, Dr. Robert Eckel, tells us what not to miss on Saturday. As President of Medicine and Science for the American Diabetes Association, I'm pleased today to report what I think may be some highlights of Saturday's sessions. By the way, these are my comments, so you have to look at the program yourself to decide what's best for you. Mary DeGroote, our president of healthcare and education, is giving her presidential address Saturday morning. You'll need to tune in to that. In terms of the symposia, one of the sessions is on the legacy of the effects of aggressive management of type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and lifestyle interventions in terms of the lasting effect of improved glycemic control over a longer interval to follow. And there's a symposium on orchestrating the structure and function of the islets. The islets are complicated uh, organs that ultimately relate to multiple cell types that produce a wide variety of hormones, and I think you're going to be updated there. Now the debates, two really interesting debates. One about doing continuous glucose monitoring in patients with type 2 diabetes. Is that worth doing? And the other one is, what about the use of sulfonylureas in the year 2020? Should those drugs be continued or should they be discontinued? And you're going to hear arguments on both sides of the fence there. In terms of a couple of the oral presentations, a couple that excite me, but again, remember, many more are there for you, is the whole issue of the dietary management of women with gestational diabetes. There's a paper being presented that shows that diets that are high in complex carbohydrate actually improve glycemic control with real no change in cord insulin determination or ultimately adiposity in the newborn. Another important area that's going to be presented as an oral presentation is this transition of insulin deficiency in obese youth from normal glucose tolerance to impaired glucose tolerance to type 2 diabetes. This is really a fascinating area of science that we don't completely understand. I've selected just a few topics that I think might bring interest to you and your career in science and medicine related to diabetes, but you have plenty of choices there. So I'm going to wish you well and enjoy the 2020 sessions. Stay well. Take care. Thank you. While you're attending this virtual meeting, make sure you visit the 3D exhibit hall where you can interact in real time with representatives from exhibiting companies. You should also stop by the ADA bookstore to find the latest titles in science and clinical care, as well as a consumer section, including cookbooks that can help your patients prepare tasty meals that follow ADA nutrition guidelines. Make sure to bear those tips in mind as you navigate the meeting today. Now to Belgium, where researchers are working on an exciting new type of immunotherapy to treat and potentially cure type 1 diabetes. Immotopes are basically modified naturally occurring epitopes derived from autoantigens that are responsible for autoimmune disorder that are then able to kill the part of the immune system that is responsible for these autoimmune diseases. We hope to really refine their treatment into a very efficacious and safe treatment for people with newly diagnosed type 1 diabetes. At Insights, we have assembled a group of very talented individuals that are working relentlessly day and night to really develop these molecules into products for patients.
88 TV is brought to you virtually from the 80th Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association. Make sure to watch daily for highlights, interviews, and insights from around the world at the very cutting edge of diabetes research. Follow these links to see it all. With me right now is Dr. Ellie Farinini, live via Zoom from Italy. You clearly played a role in advancing knowledge, but from your perspective, in what ways? <laughs> I wish I knew exactly in what way, but one contribution that um, sort of optimistically I can think of having made here is the lesson that has been learned from bariatric surgery, uh, which was kind of relearning the lesson that the game is not over in terms of improving the pathophysiology of diabetes in patients with established long-term disease. You bring up bariatric surgery patients. Clearly, the knowledge impacts people. And so let's talk about what the advancements have meant for them in terms of their lives and their quality of life. Oh, it's, it's a huge improvement. The, uh, quality of life of, uh, of these patients when they are accurately selected and when one is cognizant of the predictive factors for the success of bariatric surgery, the quality of life can be improved to an incredible extent. What's on the horizon? Uh, the big problem that is still out there is obesity, particularly in emerging um, economies. Otherwise, um, you know, artificial intelligence is helping, particularly in type 1 diabetes. So there are very interesting developments to improve the quality of life of patients with diabetes. Looking forward to the future and your continued research. Dr. Eli Farinini, thank you so much. Grazie, ciao. Grazie, ciao. Dr. Farinini playing a major role in our understanding of insulin resistance. That's it for now, but come back to ADA TV tomorrow for more highlights and a look at the work of Dr. Jandi Lin, this year's Outstanding Scientific Achievement Award winner. See you then.